Hi, this is Max. I'm back with another CSR2 video. This time it's the LB Aventador Coupe. What I want to showcase this time is the Stage 5 only, uh, or less in this case, uh, parts setup for the LB Aventador. I'm running Stage 3 tires, Stage 4 trans, and everything else Stage 5. Now, mind you, if you run full Stage 5, you'll actually dyno a little faster. Uh, but it puts you in a lobby that you may actually be less competitive. What I'm doing here is I'm doing a little bit of lobby shopping. Uh, I'm trying to put myself in the 10 second lobby intentionally. So I have this car set up running 10.09. Now, Max Evo setup for this car actually runs a little bit quicker. You can get into the 9.9s instead of 10.0s. In matchmaking, I haven't seen a huge difference, uh, but I'm just kind of putting it in 10.0 just to give myself that little bit of margin of error. So tire kind of gets stuck right at 5347. Even with more aggressive tire like stage four or five, it seems to stay here. Trans is where it changes. You basically wanted to dyno where the car is going to end up at uh, max speed, which tends to be 343. So the most aggressive setting here may actually be somewhere around here. As you can see, the EVO goes up quite a bit, 9.98, 341. But I am going to try to keep the car in the 10.0 lobby. So instead, I lower the final drive a little bit. With nitrous, same deal. The most aggressive nitrous actually might be quite a bit less and quite a bit more aggressive. Uh, I'm letting it down a little bit for the purpose of keeping the car away from getting bumped into the 9 second lobby as easily. Now, I may still be in the 9 second lobby anyway, but I'm just kind of giving myself a little bit of extra space there. I find that to so far work, so um, no reason to tweak it to 9 seconds since it stays near 10 anyway. Right, so in live, this car runs uh, faster than what it dynos. This is the lobby that car ends up in. I just need to find an opponent, run it, and see if I can show you how well it does. <clears throat> what I did earlier today is um, I, w I started trying to figure out a way to make keys quick and through uh, T1 seems to be the way to go. You can run through 15 races very quickly with the uh, A-bar. Uh, by, by doing so, I kind of killed my, uh, <clears throat> my um, RP generation since I won something like 20 races in a row, uh, I haven't reset that yet, so tonight my RP is kind of low. So that's not reflected what this car actually would do RP-wise, it's just I've been uh, winning too much, so I'm getting punished right now. Let me see, I just need somebody to race so I can at least have a race. How about you? This is an ongoing problem with live. You only connect with certain cars. Uh, some, it just times out. Others, they try to accept and it goes to disconnect. Well, um, you know, Android and iOS seems to have a lot of problems connecting as well. But, uh, so this one's not going to work either. So when you finally do find uh, someone to race, you may very well want to uh, stick with them for a while if they can trade or some other way, to, at least to get the race in. Okay, so this is just kind of woo, 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 and not connecting me to anything. Jump back out and back in. Should be still in the same lobby or maybe a different one. Oh, it moved me to something different. Uh, not that different. I, I've seen this car before. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's see if we can connect to anybody. Somebody. Anytime it counts down for this long without any reaction, you're probably not going to connect. So right around 8 seconds, that arrow for back should pop up. And out I go again. Okay, now I'm back in the other lobby. Woohoo! I tried to connect to him before it failed, so I'm not going to try again. No point to go after an attempted race where you're just going to see a nice disconnect. Let's see if we have any... Oh, here we go. Gerard O.D. 
Now this is also a, a dino beating car, um, so this should be an interesting race. Depending on what his, how he runs and what he dinos, it could be very close, or he can beat me. Right now, it's I'm winning. Okay, so I didn't shift into the last gear. I don't really need to beat anybody by a huge amount as long as I'm winning. So 9.829 against a 10.079, not a bad run. Notice the low RP, it really should be a lot higher. Um, I was making about 1600 before, so what I'm going to end up doing is uh, for the next 5-10 races, I'm going to just keep losing, uh, get my RP reset, and uh, go from there. So this car will make normal RP. I mean, with that kind of EVO, you're not going to make 600 RP unless you've just been beating everybody down for the entire day. Um, I didn't do that intentionally, but while I was messing around with the A bars, um, testing something, I did end up winning quite a lot in a row. And it shows in the uh, dropped RP. Uh, so again, since I'm not running a swap symbol, everybody's kind of running you straight up. Uh, that, if you keep winning, will also kill your RP generation. So I'm going to try one more time to just kind of showcase that it does beat Dino and it is in the right lobby. Fifth gear, he's not far enough ahead of me that I should definitely be able to outrun him. Because the Lambo accelerates, I believe, a lot harder than the ZR1 at the end of the track. So again, he's running right near what the lobby dyno might be, or maybe even 10.1, and he's running 10.0. I'm running 9.76 on a 10.0. So easy to win and an easy setup to run. Launching, simple, 7,000 RPM. Shift quickly, first, second, third, fourth, before 4,000 RPMs. I usually let the let the needles actually get between three and four before I shift. And then on the fifth gear, hit the nitrous, ride it out. No bounce in the needle, just get it deep, good runs um, for fifth, sixth, and seventh. And you should hit the uh, finish line at a pretty high speed and a pretty low time. Well, I hope you liked the video. Um, if you... Uh, if it was helpful to you, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. What I'm going to do in the next week or two is make a bunch of videos for Stage 5 Tunes. If you notice, I changed my name to Stage 5 Tunes. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase some of these faster cars can do quite well with just Stage 5. Instead of having to upgrade fully to Stage 6 to be competitive. Ultimately, in the end, what we all want is to you know, have a car that can win in live, make some points, and have some fun. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I will put another video up soon. See you next time.